All righty then. Hello and welcome to another Wednesday night operation with Squad Ops. I'll be your commentator and cameraman tonight, Killerman Time. And with that introduction out of the way, let's move on over to the commands for tonight for round one. Uh, for the U.S. side, we have Lawn Darts being command, with his two IC being Morgan, his three other SLs being a Duke and Happy and Polish. For the INS side, we have Bao, with his two IC being Utopian, and three other SLs being a Royal Raggy and Odelay. Uh, moving on over to the team loadouts. I'm just putting this up here, but there were some last minute changes. Hey, Potato! Uh, last minute changes to the operations doc, so if things on screen don't match up to what I say, I'm, I'm sorry. Alright, so for US loadout, we have infantry squad levels, 1 SL, 2 FTLs, 2 ARs, 1 medic, platoon armory as crewmen as needed, vehicles is 2 logistical, or yeah, 2 logies, 2 mat v open tops, uh, if 4 plus squads, additional 1 striker UA, if 5 plus squads, additional 1 striker UA. I'm not sure if that's an additional, so that just means they get 2? Uh, that's confusing a bit. Um... Fob, uh, let's see here, they have the COP, one mortar, two HMG tripods, various defensive structures, and support consists of two artillery smoke barrages with four 81mm uh, mortar, six rounds. Uh, that is pretty much it for the US side, moving on over to the INS loadouts. So I scroll down in my op doc. Uh, if you do want to take a look at the op docs, you can type in exclamation mark op doc all together in the uh, chat and it'll provide you a link to the operations doc if you feel like perusing it in more depth. Uh, moving on to the INS loadouts. Uh, for the INS infantry squad levels, it'll be one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one LAT, and one medic. Platoon armory consists of one bomber, four plus squads is an additional one LAT and one bomber. Uh, five plus squads, additional one LAT and one scout. Vehicles consist of two logistical techies, uh, we've got a FOB none and support none. Uh, that pretty much sums it up for both teams with what they have allocated to them. Let's take a look at the op map for today. Or tonight, actually. So, wow, that's actually much smaller. I should have made my own. Um, as you can see, there is a giant red splotch in the middle. That is the operating zone for the INS. Uh, nearing the top right hand corner of the map that is where the u.s uh train will start and that line yellow dotted line is where they need to go there are of course side objectives if they can't get to that line you have the exfil uh points uh but the overall objective is you know seek and destroy one team is either gonna die or the other team's gonna die uh that's breaking it down i'm sure expit will reprimand me for for basically breaking the immersion, but I always get the questions, what's the goal of the op tonight? What's, what's, uh, how's the ending? And it's like, the yeah, ending's usually gonna be a, uh, whichever team is left standing. Uh, moving on into live, and we can listen yeah, to we brought, we brought command and do their fun chitter-chatter. Welcome to Operation Jackal. I'm Lawn Darts commanding this evening. Our mission's pretty straightforward. Our 2 is gonna be Morgan. We've got Polish, Happy, and Adekin as our able squad leads. We are to take a convoy of two Logi trucks, two uh, open top M wraps, and an unarmed striker to the grid in uh, Delta 8. Specific building location is Delta 894. It's marked with the yellow friendly fob marker. Our route, uh, at least to begin with, is marked on the map, as well as the order of the convoy. We've got squad one out front with an open top M wrap. Squad three is taking care of our logistics vehicles. And squad two has an M wrap, and squad four is rear guard. So from live, we'll be uh, heading out of main, uh, taking the bridge that's to our south. I'm going to put a striker on it. We must use bridges to cross water. Must keep the vehicles on the roads. If the road is blocked, we have to choose a different path. We're going to proceed west. We'll have uh, squad one clearing mines, and basically being our pathfinders as we move west. Convoy will be moving as quick as they. If we hit contact, or dare I say, when we hit contact. Uh, hopefully we'll get the better of the early engagement, be able to either force the enemy to fall back or kill them all. Uh, we'll then pick back up and continue moving west. If 
if we're taking too long, there might be an order to uh, to mount up, and we'll just uh, try and blaze our way through to uh, to the target location. Now, in this mission, uh, expect to be uh, ambushed. That's the whole point of it. Next round, we'll swap teams. We'll get to uh, do likewise. So don't try and um, outflank the enemy here. We want to keep the platoon good formation, so that we can uh, face and react to contact when it happens. So make sure you've got really good spacing. Uh, expect a lot of frag rounds to be coming in. Make sure that you're, uh, you know, really communicating well with the guys around you and local in terms of, you know, any contact you see, what direction, what distance, and, and exactly what it is. The only way we're going to do this is put overwhelming firepower on the enemy and keep on moving and just rinse and repeat the whole way to the objective. Now, if we lose the Logi trucks prior to crossing the Fox Trot Golf Line, uh, then we're going to send up a try and set up a combat uh, outpost exfil position in Hotel 743. That is marked with the mine marker. Uh, if we cross the Foxtrot Golf Line and lose the two Lodger trucks, we must then still proceed to the building in Delta 891, marked by the yellow friendly fob marker. Uh, there are two rounds, so if you do die, you can go into admin cam and uh, enjoy the uh, watching the rest of the team try and progress to our objective. Are there any questions? All right, awesome guys, have fun. This is uh, probably the hardest of the two rounds. It's a bit easier to sit back and ambush. So um, have your wits about you and uh, good luck. All right, squad leaders, let's get ready for life. Let's see here. Who are we gonna follow, the main column or squad three? Squad three is gonna be hugging the uh, map border. Uh, let's follow the main column, depending. I actually, I never even flew forward to see what the uh, INS were doing. Do they even... How far do I have to go before they pop up? Oh, I see. There's a... Techie right here. There he is. Looks like they're moving some forces up forward. Uh, I feel like it's more of a stabilization than it was an improvement in FPS count. That would be awesome. Copy that, moving to and securing. Just trying to keep track of the convoy before I am not around to catch the first uh, contact. That would suck horribly. Just repeat, I've got two times artillery smoke barrage and four by 81 millimeter mortar, six rounds to use, so don't be shy with the tactical requests if we encounter any obstacles to overcome. Reinforcement mark secure. Roger. As far as I can tell, versions, they're probably going to be fiddling with whatever settings they implemented into the last major update. Uh, I think the test branch is currently running some fixes. So then again, there was a squad update. I'm not sure if that was a mod update or not. Uh, did not check which one it was. So those fixes may have already been brought in. Someone needs to go back to, to driving school. <sighs> Gotta take a wide swing here, and then you should be able to make the turn. Uh, too wide. Too wide, Cap. <laughs> Not wide enough. And there's Londars just running in traffic. Howdy, boys. 
of um, remembering something. So when they say that, like, that's going to be some time before we get contact. That is very true. The amount of times I've seen APCs or actually any vehicle just flip. No reason, just, you know, decides it doesn't want to be on its wheels anymore or treads. Right. Right. Scottish, you're going to be in charge after Atticon gets hit by it. An AR gunner is running true. down the middle of the road. Definitely God damn it. shot by an AR. Got and when you die, I'm going to tell one that you got shot in the face. I already told him I'm running down the middle of the road so you guys don't get lost. And he was like, alright. No, that's that's one that's pet peeve. It's like, what? how did he die? Uh, he was shot in the face. No, how? <laughs> Uh, I believe that is a modded striker. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's modded. I don't think Vanilla has a uh, non armed variant. I could be wrong. Hey, I could I be absolutely I wrong. Hey, back up, Terry. I just want to kind of know, why are you the backup, Terry? And it's like we are reaching the halfway point of the convoy's trek towards the uh, red zone. Might not be marked on the map, but it's pretty much where that yellow uh, front line is on the map there. If you can see it between the grid zones, uh, Foxtrot and Gulf. Got ahead a bit. Yeah, looks like the INS are taking a more thin approach, probably just feelers, then they're gonna snap in around the US forces once they can pin down where they are. I will definitely take you up on that one. Uh, sadly, not at the moment. <laughs> Shit. God damn it, didn't mean to do this again. Good. finally getting in range of the INS. It does look... No, no, they're not moving quite yet. They're holding off. I'm pretty sure they should be able to That's hear the APC at this point. Convoy there so we can scout out this little sketch area. Roger, if the rest of the convoy wants Keep calling. to start a security help engine off, get spicy. Darn it, you got so APC stuck in my head. Striker. Here we go. 
Or just I mean, it's not wrong, but... Ambush us, it'd probably be on a crossroads. Roger. The platoon is waiting for you to move. We'll move with you, one. Gotta Command make those distinctions. Command squad three. Go ahead. I'm um, getting reports that we have contact south. Uh, look up. Roger, your weapon's ready. Once we start shooting, let's uh, pick up uh, the move down to the uh, to the west. It's three, if you can uh, take care of that contact, just pin them in as we move, and we'll hand that over to Morgan. Uh, Command, this is one. We're good to roll again. Charlie, cutting right a bit. Uh, contact south. Contact southeast of me, laying on a roof. Got him. Contact is Helto743. Roger. Sir, if you can get in the position with a fire team and cover the river so they cannot cross from Hotel 743 to the north. I got the rest of the team moving west. I've seen some minor movements with the INS forces, but not much. Ooh, Zero Maya's taken out, finally, by Hashley and Slasher. Continue rolling behind the convoy. If you need my guys to dismount, and there's some position. movement. If you need us to move to the front and dismount, let me know. Morgan, if I get you up near one, uh, and clear the roadblock, I have also got, uh, off map support, Contact straight down the road west. Roger. Contact's west. If I can get a tactical on it, either can whenever you get a chance. I'll drop some orders there. Contact in the building, Fox 768. Roger, give me a tactical and I will drop the mortars on it. Copy that. Mark. Alright, Roger, mortars going in. Oh, these poor saps. Well, it depends whether or not they're going to actually hit it properly. Command, do you want the convoy holder? Yeah, well, there's the mortar mark. Uh, keep rolling. Put fire on that uh, building yeah, as we're about to hit it. I also have two times smoke. Three, you've got rear security while we keep on moving west. Copy. Um. No, I don't think. I don't think uh, adjusting your audio quality setting will. They're staring right at us. Really make much Man. of a difference. Oh, that is gonna hurt. Pretty really barely alive. Odele also still almost alive. And nope, two has bled out. Is two down, three. Odele, is he still alive? Yes, he is. Definitely working if you catch my drift. Looks like the INS will pull him back from this position. That border definitely hurt them just a bit, and their morale on the front line there. Command three. Go ahead. Our contacts are at that 
next river down there and south of us. Barricade, barricade so is two at guys. the bridge. Barricade is at the bridge. We have to secure. Ooh. Alpha Guido taking some hits there. Make sure you go down security. Sergeant McD uh Davin is down. I'm not sure what the, who the other one was. I did not pay attention to his name. US Force is doing a pretty bang up job here, pushing through. Lex Ryan's been taken out, I'm assuming either by uh Beetlejuice or Static Falcon. Nope, I take that back. Probably Kerr. Looks like Alpha Guido is trying to find another opportunity to take another shot at that poor uh, striker. Or really any other vehicle. Jericho taken out. Static Falcon. Also taken out by Joe Violence, I think. Nade in takes out. Nothing. Another nade in. U.S. Force is now trying to wrap around and probe the facility. We are going to continue following the uh, convoy as it goes by. Do you want to stay in the road following the river or going south towards Radio Tower? Road that follows the river. And Kerr down by DJ Russ. Long distance there. Looks like the convoy has gotten stopped at the next bridge, so we got some time to watch this unfold. Balchick it. Balchick it down. Beetlejuice taken out. Cheese man also taken out by Beetlejuice. That's a nice trade there, and that is one compound cleared of the INS forces. Keep pace with the convoy. Make sure that compound's in the way. We have contact in this compound. We are going to be going off here in a second. And that is another lat out. I do not believe it hit its target. Looks like it hit the wall. That is one lucky Matt B. Make sure everyone's got a good space. Alpha's gonna get a possible cheeky kill on Nightmare, depending. Could be wrong on that. Looks like, oh, I was right. Alpha did get a cheeky kill on Nightmare there. One on the enemy position. 
keep it rolling up to that next bridge to your west. There's the compound to your southwest to be suspicious of, and there is contact to your northwest on the mortar mark with the uh, off maps about the land. We are just about to the objective line. U.S. force is doing pretty good so far. Looks like they've used another one of their mortars. And in an attempt to uh, hit this three-man element up here, it just shy off to the side. Looks like a Dugan has spotted uh, Osseus. Or is it Osseus? I don't know. Names are weird. Oh, and that is a failed lat hit a tree. That is problems with explosives in this game. Roger. Light up Echo 794 if I can get out of the taxi I don't quite see it from where I am. Command for two, I need you to suppress northwest, the high ground. Echo 794. Echo 794, copy that. And however you pronounce his name has gone down. Sven definitely trying to keep his head down there. Papa Scorch is definitely not wanting to pop his head out. And it looks like there's a four-man team coming up here from the northeast of this three-man, four-man, or two-man actually. Uh, went up instead of down there, sorry. Mortar's landing again to your north. Now I need to dig them out of that compound north of you four, but I need someone watching the exits. There's exits on the west and south. Copy, you want me watching the exits west and south of the compound north of me? Moving up. Hey. Come here, do you want to land push in? After mortars going. Oh, Sven just got decimated alongside Papa Scorch. That is unfortunate, but great placement on those mortars. You got a four man for the INS here in between two elements in the U.S. I have no idea what is going on here. If I could have you set up in Echo 762, that's the compound that's to your southwest, Echo 762, and you're looking out for anything coming from the uh, from the south, southeast, southwest. Copy. Command. Permission to move to Echo 774, that compound there, and clear it. They took a long route around the rear. It's not an uncommon tactic to uh, completely circumvent the uh, enemy. I have contact in my east, northeast of three. I want to make sure it's clear here with two. Copy that, Command. Command. We got contact in the 9 4 still. Command, if they push north, uh, this road is clear. There is no uh, roadblock on this bridge. We can come around the backside of the point, possibly. Clear that up uh, infantry, and if we can take the road that's uh, southwest of one. Copy. I'll rotate. This compound up here is clear. Rotating southwest, I'll push past one. Roger. So I have no idea the compound on is clear. A flank is much better in this situation because the convoy needs to move forward. Four, if you want to clear this one on me, I have no idea if it's clear or not. Downside Copy. is they've right. still got so a sizable like INS yeah, force in the front. They still gotta Run get through. Four. Need you to make as much progress as you can with the convoy. Two, if you keep on sweeping to the west southwest. US forces are fantastic okay, at moving right the now. Here, the river here rather than south. Because they got eyes watching that other bridge. Roger, I do have uh smoke barrages to use. We can get the vehicles up close to the uh, target compound this now. Are you able to drop a smoke barrage on the target? Back to the west, I'll get smoke 
back on it. West. Yeah, there was one roadblock on the, the uh, first bridge they had to cross. Copy. Let me get eyes. I think the INS was hoping they could uh, stall them a lot longer there. But as far as I can tell, there is uh, no more choke points anywhere. Well, I mean, there is one right there, but there's no roadblocks on it. Command for squad three reporting when you can the status on the east. Charles, yeah, that's chief. what is the status on the east? All right, I'm about it. Um, squad lead went down. It's we just had down. another go down. I'm having a retreat. That's a big negative. I need them holding a line there with my guys. We're on that retreat. Smoke positions down. Convoy, but I'll have them hold that uh, compound right there north of them. That's good. You're hanging my fire team out to dry there by moving. Have them, have them set up a line there. Interrogative. Interrogative. We have enemy positions within 150 meters of my uh, Charlie fire team. Southwest. There Roger. is a river pushing north into us. We need to move this convoy now. Roger. I do have. Get the tactics down. I'll drop mortars on them. No. No mines are in play, I don't believe. Roger. Yeah, can't the U.S. forces are slowly falling it. apart here. Roger. Can you get a tactical Lots of point of contact. I'm just going to keep an overhead now. North Road is clear to bridge at D765. Roger, too. Let's keep moving. We'll start All streams are uploaded to our uh, Squad Ops YouTube channel. Uh, Please request tactical on the contact. No, I would not expect it uh, very soon, but uh, Beetlejuice, you should be able to see the uh, past broadcast uh, after the stream is done. Be, be advised, uh, I am down to four times effective at this time. Could use a smoke right there. Command, just making sure you, you want uh, Squad 3 to continue to hold the east. Alright, so northeast of 4. Command, I've got. Targets within 25 to 50 meters south of me here. Roger. Delta 8, 9, oh, we are contact. losing people like flies here. Happy Glamper and Lucy down by a lap. It's going to be on top of me. I'll do my best. I can I can adjust it. Basically on the other side of the river here. To south, 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 east. south, south, east, south, south, east. Delta 894. And Chubb's been knocked out of one of the uh, logisticals. Lat on one of the uh, Matfies. Doesn't look like it did much damage. Two and three, what's the situation where you are? And that should have been the last mortar barrage dropped, and it is very effective. That misses again. Is that Bartok? That is surprising, but it is a night map, so I kind of give him some handicap there.
No, get him shot. Get him shot at. He's one well, six five. He's one six three. You able to move? Sound. Get him shot. Juice sound. And Bartok's finally taken out. Let's see what the damage here is. We've got an MRAP, we got a Lodgy still moving, and we've got partially an MRAP. Matt V. No. Pushed up to the corner of the, the compound Delta yeah, Matt V. I just killed a guy in the corner, I think. Roger, drop your next tactical there. I'll put my... Uh... I'm seeing a lot of traffic down the river southeast. Be good as well. Roger, too. If you can intercept well. that, slow them down as best you can. Alright, that's the last lot of mortars. One time smoke left. Three point long and salt. All squads on the top. South of four. Four has been attacked. Armor cars are actually pretty good right now. Uh, oh yeah, that was definitely beautiful mortars. There goes Royal. Natfish is well. Natfish. Nashville is uh, the only one left in that compound. Uh, I kind of gotta argue against that one, Call. Um, the fact of the U.S. forces being spread out like that keeps the INS from moving in so tightly on them. So they have to be stretched or they risk having the U.S. forces come up on their rears. So this is actually a better situation for the U.S. right now. Uh, I'm not sure what this crew here is going to do. Uh, Chief and Grand Booba. Booba. Yeah, it's Booba, right? So once the smoke goes down, if you're up, try and get onto the target compound. Squad 2 and Squad 3 basically just got wiped on my corner here. What do you want me to do? Push the compound and smoke and do have contact to your northeast. My, uh, my Copy. southeast. I got a lat on Squad 2. Right across the road, one, uh, two. Alright, Anakin, smoke's about to go in. Try and get your MRAPs to, uh, bully their way up to the, uh, compound. Get one of the lodges up there. Alright, I'm a little hurt. Morgan, contact you south of me. 100 meters heading in your direction. Stay firm. Not into it, but right up on the walls, yeah. Just keep going that. in. Make sure when you're in there you've got security on the outside as well. There's, there's guys on the east probably coming back in. Convoy finally moving forward here. Well, Looks like they ditch. Right no, they didn't ditch. Just, uh, let's see, this map has got no one yeah, manning the gun. This is gonna be dirty.
the objective compound. Ooh, map it. There's the other gunner for the other map eight. Oh, well, I was wondering where it was. Uh, Matt V's hurt. Lost someone and didn't check the name. Uh, reading chat again. Mr. Pickle. Um, at the moment, I don't think anyone's going to bring you into the round. Not until round two starts. Uh, but just sit in pre-op channel uh, if you are on the Discord. And when round two starts, they will bring you in. We're on the objective now, so there's no need. Ooh, and Wolfie looks like taken out by Hashling Slasher. There's no one over there, so that's a random shot. Thank you. All right, Scorpion, you're able to play the radio. We also get. Uh... Oh, I see what they're doing. This is location for the U.S. COP location. So this is actually where the U.S. forces will consolidate and hold. Uh, we have now turned into an attack and defend. U.S. forces will be defending and the INS forces will be attacking. It's the last stand position. If you can just get the guy set up in the perimeter there, watching all the entrances. How on earth is Basket of Puppies still alive out here? And there it is, the directive from the event admin is to retake the position. Oh no, Captain Morgan, uh, JC, and J 61 taken out by this small crew here. And I say crew, that is Silas. Silas is just systematically trying to take everyone out. Uh, that was a nade in. Oh jeez. The guys there in local, tell them to spread out, watch their entrances. Back to my E's pushing you from your north, let them know that as well. Everyone's just spread out and watch entrances. Silas taken out by Loden. Uh, War Daddy, Mine Hay are the only three on point right now. Oop, and we got Coops four. Nope, make that three. Loden's down. Londarts is on the exterior. Yeah, it looks like they just blew up one of the vehicles. Everyone just needs to take that. Oh, yeah, this guy's with the vehicles. Fly with the vehicles. A firm. Just these two infantrymen. To the ditch, just just to the left. Hey, like War Daddy, watch the west. west. War Daddy, watch the west. That's the situation that keeps. Yeah, the west covered. We got pretty much every angle covered. Uh, we're trying to just hold it down now. Alright, they come crossing the river on your north. Poor daddy doing a fantastic job guarding that uh, riverbed there. Uh, looks like Javi and Utopian moving along the backside of the compound, probably looking for an entry point. Got Hershey sitting over here on the western side with Londarts moving up on his rear real fast. Yeah, it looks like Javi and Utopia made it in and have taken out Mine Hay. I killed the MG3. Those are uh, spectator cams. There is no way I can get rid of those without getting rid of all the other cams, the, the uh, uh, markers. To hold some angles down. And wait. Anyone good cover in there? We're not in the compound. Everyone in the compound is dead. We're going to hold the outside. Roger. We don't have any coverage to our north or south, only uh, east and west. Roger. Alright, I got the 
got the south side of the uh, compound. Or she down by War Danny? I got one. How many are left? If the radio starts going Couple. down, we'll need to push it. Hold that. Landart's moving up along the river. Yeah, yeah looks like he just took a pot up. at Utopian. Fortunately, I missed one. You know, float around the Utopia and that too. It looks like they're the only ones left. Yeah, and I don't know where that explosion came from. I think that was one of their nades. And Utopian's down by Coops. Javi's trying to get a peek, falls off the roof, hurts himself, and is running. Running into a building. And he has been taken out by lawn darts through the window or doorway. No, not even that. Oh, archway. Good job. Lawn, uh, Silas killed my... All right. Dude, he literally ran up here and yeah, killed he everyone. Yeah, he killed everyone. He has 10 kills. Beat lawn by one. All right, well... That is uh, it for round one. We'll be back shortly for round two. Stick around. And for those wishing to partake in this, it is an open op, so join our Discord, join our pre-op channel, and if we need bodies, they will pull you in. With that out of the way, we'll be back shortly. All right. Well... We're back for round two. Uh, that is a discrepancy I forgot to mention. Uh, our operations do utilize our supplemental mod. So if you don't have that installed, you would not be able to join the op, even if you did have the game installed and joined our pre-op channel. Uh, and as Xbit has stated in channel, it is probably too late at this point to join round two. Uh, moving away from that, uh, we will move on over to commands for round two. Uh, it is a team flip, so for the U.S. side now, it's going to be command with Bao, his two IC being Utopian, his three other wrestles being Royal, Raggy, and Odile. And for the INS, it's going to be command with Lon, his two IC being Morgan, and his three other wrestles being a Duke and Happy and Polish. Uh, for the loadouts, I'm going to try and speed through this. For the U.S. side, we have infantry squad levels 1 SL, 2 FTLs, 2 ARs, 1 Medic. Platoon armory consists of crewmen as needed. Vehicles, 2 Logies, 2 Mat V open tops, and 4 plus squads as additional 1 Striker. Unarmed. Uh, FOB consists of a COP, 1 Mortar, 2 HMG tripods, and various defensive structures. Support is 2 artillery smoke garages, 4 81mm mor mortars with 6 rounds each. And now we're going to move on over to the INS side. For the INS, infantry is going to be squad one, or squad levels 1 SL, 2 FTLs, 2 ARs, 1 LAT, and 1 Medic. Platoon Army consists of 1 Bomber, and 4 plus squads, additional 1 LAT, and 1 Bomber. 5 plus squads, additional 1 LAT, 1 Scout. Uh, vehicles is 2 Logistical Techies, and they have no FOB or support. And that is pretty much the quick, quick nitty-gritty covering of the loadouts. We're going to pull on in here, and uh, well, we will listen the to them go the over the things. Yeah, something like that. I should probably oh, also yeah. turn off the night really mode. Right. Can. All right, guys. All right. Welcome. Excellent, excellent work. That was fantastic. Any of you who died and got to see those last few pushes, amazing defense. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, flip the rolls a little bit. We're going to be taking our U.S. convoy, our lodgies, to our future cop location. I'm going to go ahead and mark it on the map now in Delta 891. So you guys see that on the map? That is our, our uh, goal location. Uh, we are going to be escorting our two lodgies with two map Vs and a striker. Uh, we have a, a planned route. That route will go sideways. When that route goes sideways, listen to your SLs, your FTLs. Um, they'll be worrying about giving you directions. You need to worry about keeping your guns and your eyes up, ready to fire. Um, in terms of rules of engagement, if it moves, shoot it. Obviously, don't shoot each other. 
call in that contact report, make sure that gets sent up the chain, make sure we can pivot the reaction forces to that contact. If you are attached to the logies as the defense squad, make sure you stick to those logies, but not close enough that if the logie gets hit, you die with it. You want to be within 20 meters or so, but no closer. Uh, we have been given mortars and smoke. I hope that we use that to our advantage to get as close to our target location as possible. Uh, in the event that both of our logies get destroyed prior to crossing the Falkskopf line, we will go to our expo location of Hotel 743, which I will mark on the map now. All right. In terms of uh, our dismount, we're going to all load up on our vehicles. doesn't matter which ones, but listen to your SLs. They will tell you when to get in, when to get out. Do not get out before your SL says to get out. We will be dismounting approximately Juliet 616 and then continue on foot. Uh, it's important that we keep 360, including behind us at all times. If you have questions pertaining to the op, now's the time. If you have questions pertaining to the mechanics of how we do One Life missions, that is for your SL after this. Any questions pertaining to the op at this time? Awesome. We have a, uh, a limit line that is imposed on us by high command that is marked on map. That is the Charlie Delta line. Do not cross it west. In terms of placing 18 AP mines, we cannot, but you can resupply off of friendly vehicles and ammo bags. All right, let's, uh, let's go and get loaded up. Let's get these vehicles facing the right direction. Listen to your SLs. Break them out. Oora. No rush, no rush. Live has been called for round two, but uh, the U.S. side is going to take a sweet time getting all set and ready. Royal, I'm sending you to uh, command buddy squad to you to fill in your two spots. Uh, that's both their, their first off. Respawn, we're good to go. Once they're in. That's right. Got that. Okay, uh, which kit was it? Go ahead and grab the rifleman. Yeah, and they need to get kits. Rifleman's uh, fine. Can we get on the ABC with you? Right in here, inside the lodging. The strikers just armored uh, troop transports, part of the operation. Yeah, I need, uh, I need That's all it is. Um, it's just what the operation calls for. Uh, XP can probably give you a little bit more detail on the reason why it's there, but it's uh, just. Do they have, uh, rifles, or do they need to switch kits? What you'd usually have in a uh, convoy. Did you guys grab kits? Did you guys grab kits? Hey Beetle, just stay here. There's no space. Hey, can y'all roll up to the uh, lodges? There's one guy that needs to get in with you. All right, convoy, convoy. We're doing 30 meter spacing. 30 meter spacing. Oh shit, get in. Hey man, you got right. All right. Hey Grim Report, uh, Reaper. Wow, Reaper. Reaper. Uh, this is a closed uh, server. Uh, our operations can only be accessed by joining our Discord and uh, joining the pre-op channel, but we are currently on our round two, which is our last round of the night. So, uh, you kind of missed the chance on that one. But we do have more operations this weekend, if you have time for those. Um, outside that, we uh, will be watching the rest of round two as it begins. Strategic command online.
I do not normally talk in game uh, once life has been called. Uh, that situation was about the only time I will do it. It'll be at your next left. Uh, we'll actually push that dismount to Juliet 7. Juliet 7 behind the compound. He has lots of accidents. And if we don't hit well, you yeah. No, only spray your load if you see faces. I don't care, yeah. Pop it up. Dismount? Yeah, pop out, dismount. Dismount. Uh, our operations usually fall around Wednesdays uh, and Saturday, Sunday. Roger. Alright, let's get a security forward. Braggy, you guys are yours. We also do ARMA operations, which can fall on Thursday or Friday and or Saturday and Sunday. Oh, that's right. We don't do right, Sunday. Royal Never mind. My bad. Sorry. Saturday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Uh, you can find a full calendar of our future events on our uh, website. Which can be found by typing in exclamation mark squad ops, I think. Um, there's a calendar there and it'll have all of our posted events coming up. If you do plan on taking or joining these, we do suggest you make a uh, account on the website and because uh, that's how you will sign up for the events for the future. It is currently uh, an escort mission uh, to start off. If they reach their objective, it becomes an attack and defend. If they don't reach their objective, it's a fallback or, you know, it's an attack attack. It comes to a position where uh, U.S. can't really do anything other than attack. All right, convoy's going south. Uh, let's get infantry cover to our west. Is it labeled as ambush? Well, there you go. I got a new term. It's an ambush.
Let's get 360, spread it out, 20, 30, 40 meters, infantry spread out. Looks like the INS have a uh, simple spread here in their uh, zone of operation. And the U.S. forces will be skirting the lower half of that. Uh, of course, once the INS have gauged that, we'll probably see some of the forces push out to the east to get behind the U.S. forces and the rest will probably push down trying to slow them down as the other for uh, other uh, troops get in behind them. The goal of the INS is to stop and destroy and the best way to do that is to surround. Is there a time left of the game? Uh, Officially, no. Unofficially, the timer is uh, 7 hours and 30 minutes. I don't think I've ever been in an operation that's lasted that long, though, so don't have to worry. Most operations can last uh, just barely to an hour. And that's uh, round 1 and 2. No, I'll say probably like just barely 2 hours for both round 1 and 2. Medic, medic, medic. A broken ankle. Moving. All right, expert. You gotta stop answering all the questions before I can read them. Leave me something to talk about. Good spacing. Let your guys know. Good spacing. Expect contact at any moment. We could take shots at any moment. That's the reason why I said this op style is not for everyone. If you uh, are not prepared to die instantly in a round and not be able to do anything for the rest of the round, it may not be a game for you. But for those that don't particularly mind that particular aspect, Give me a then this is Can definitely you something you need to check out. Contact is super far down northwest. They're not going to be engaging us. We should be able to. Uh, they took an unarmed striker both rounds. That's just how we rolled the up. It would be overpowered if we had a uh, mounted gun on an armored vehicle for this uh, specific situation. Yep, there they go. It looks like Squad 3 has already taken the initiative to push out eastward. Out Once they've figured out and stopped the uh, convoy's the movement, they'll probably move in, down uh, to get in behind them. Or in the main, you know, their spawn. Alpha will be a gunner for you, by the way. Uh, you mean Golf 8? Golf 8 Fire? Golf 8 5? Correct, Golf 8 5 7. Gotcha. Uh, Raggy, can you get your two map Vs traced on Golf 85? And uh, we're gonna go ahead and plan for this. I don't want to take casualties if we don't have to. Average 
set. Got that. Got ice on. All right, awesome. Uh, Royal, let's have your uh, your striker creep up and hold. Let's have all infantry who have eyes on that compound with their guns traced on it. Utopian eyes west. Uh, generally, and, uh, if your squad or the round hasn't quite gotten going, usually what we call quite gotten going is uh, you know what's about to happen here in a couple seconds. Um, if you do DC, we will attempt to get you back in round, um, depending on where you are when you DC. If you DC in the middle of combat, you will most likely be ruled as killed. Alright, Royal, it's on your go. Raggy, it's on your go after that. Yeah, we're holding fire unless we take fire, okay? Copy. Alright, uh, my guys are just standing against me anymore. Copy. Alright, convoy, let's keep moving. Royal, you set the pace. Roger. Spacing, spacing. Basically getting them in a kill box here. There's nowhere for the convoy to go once they get up this road. Good work, guys. Contact. Uh, break, break. Uh, Stand by. Ooh, that almost, but it hit the ground before it got to the target. Alright, with that we should see, yep, there goes Squad 2 coming down from the uh, north. Coming in on the rear of the convoy. is in a really, really bad position here. Uh, if there are special rules that state that you can, um, some ops roll with uh, ammo in the lodges. This one does not roll with ammo, so there is no reloading off the lodges. Here's squad two. Oh, they've already lost two people already. <laughs>
I don't know, his forces are slowly losing uh, people. That might be a good spot. Mm, as in competitive, as in like a friendly event, yes. As in competitive, like prize money and whatnot, no. And the police station is also a good target. Oh. And we have lost Alpha Guido over here. I'm not sure who got him. Lat in. That'll, did that go all the way to the front on the striker? It looks like it did. Oh, that is not good. We definitely do need to move. I'm gonna call in uh, smoke and mortars, and we're moving. We're getting pushed hard down the east. We need to move west. Looks like they're dropping mortars right there. There's nothing there. Right, stand by to move, guys. Uh, mortars are coming in. Smoke's gonna come in. Let's get moving. That could be a smoke drop there. Here is just not being good. Lex Ryan and 61 over here just feeding bullets down this alley. Can't stop there. You're out in the open. You gotta keep moving. If the operations doc calls for uh, or allows mines, then yes, there can be mines in the road. Um, that's a fantastic question. I don't think we have uh, any mines in this round. We do have IEDs though. U.S. forces making a. Interesting push here. Uh, INS. Oh, there goes one Lodgy. Okay, yeah, there is uh, 18 mines in this one. My bad. 
Sorry about that one, Xbit. The rolling is, uh... INS may place AT mines, max is one per scout, per round. Forces are just tailing these guys. The U.S. forces have lost a lot of people. If I'm nope, there's the rest of them. They're pushing up top, trying to take out the uh, INS. They're trailing with the convoy. Not working too well. They're so close to their objective, but they're not there yet. And there's the barricade here. They gotta start digging down. making short work of any of the INS forces that decide they want to get real close to him. And he's in the middle of reloading. That is the most worst position to be in. Ooh, Lat just barely missed the uh, Lodgy there. Barricade's been dug down. Waiting for the US forces to decide they uh, can move forward. The INS forces are just tailing them. They are not letting up. Guys, roadblock's down. We need to get moving. Roadblock's down. We're moving. Copy. Rudy has hopped into the gunner's position. His gunner is down. Rudy has been taken out. Also, I think that's Chubbs or Yang has gotten him. That leaves us with one MRAP or Matt V. Uh, looks like Frost might be beelining it for the uh, other vehicle. And he's going to try and carry on with it. And the U.S. forces should have a straight line if they just floor it to get to the cop. There's nothing between them and their destination now. Utopian's crew is just not in the best position. He is surrounded by INS. They're getting shoon apart. Charlie Foxtrot still alive out there in the uh, field. For how long, not known. Chubbs coming in. Is he using a freaking pistol? 
Chubbs over here using a piss. That is just disrespectful. Nashville, Chubb, or Javi, and Utopia is still alive in the corner, but he's got no one else around him. Army Soul and Bow. On their own top. Chubbs right, took down. out Utopian. Stay here. We'll Apex at the Niner is the only one left in Come Utopian's vicinity. Right alongside Army Copy. Soul Mr. and Rocky, Bow. Two, I'm going to pull over and see. Looks like the convoy, as stated, they have nothing in between them in the directive. It is, of course, whether or not there is an ID. And looks like Apex 69er has been taken out by Savior. Squad size element between uh, Fox 97 between us and you. I, I don't wanna, we're gonna uh, we're gonna let them start moving and then we'll we'll chase them down over time. Um, I have one more tactical, which is mortars. So let me know where you need it. I might use it on these guys. I am disembarking the striker. How copy? And the INS uh, forces are just hightailing oh, towards the uh, cop. E834. E826. E835. Are we placing a radio or I something? See them on this? Alright, last mortar out. I place the cop once the lodge is in range. And dig in. Replacing our radio, nothing more. Hey, firm. Radio's down, radio's down. Alright, got that. If you want, you can place various defensive structures and two HMG tripods, but I don't think you'll have time to get two HMG tripods up. But times two HMG tripod, various defensive structures are a go. We can get. Alright, I've expended command assets. I am now a rifleman. We're gonna chase these guys down. Oh, now that was a perfect drop. If they were just a bit close, they would have had a nice cluster of uh, insurgents right there. Spacing, spacing, spacing. Gotta keep that in mind. Raggy, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you control. You have full control. I'm gonna go full buddy team with army. Copy that. I know you got east, southeast. How many guys do you got? Oh, let's do this. 285, 285. Copy. Alright, let's set it up. Let's hold uh, up. I have three effective, including myself. I drive you north, totally. Uh, he's in that. You got east, okay? In front of us. Um, hey, I'll give you a grid. We can't build, guys. We can't build. Uh, so, it looks like we might have some miscommunications here. Someone might be trying to do it, build something other than the radio. Alright, place now. Place now. Oh, right, never mind. I am um, once again forgetting what I read already. They do. They have the ability to build uh, sandbags. Yeah. Can you give me Derp. something right here where it's kind of splitting the two? HMGs and various defensive structures. Splitting it. You mean, uh. like this? Uh, I meant horizontally, but this will work. Hey, uh, That's fine. Thank you, right. 30. 30, okay. H how far? Uh, 50 meters. I right, north, uh, 50 meters north. What on earth is Bart? Bartok! What the? You have no wheel! Contact's last spotted to south of the cop. 300 meters south of the cop. Freaking mad lad this guy is.
And there it goes. Well, good thing that, uh, that Matt V is not moving anyways. And Frost don't give no crud. He is just gonna shoot it. Sure, what Bartok's plan is, but he just set up a uh, mat me out in the middle of the open and uh, kind of just left it. Got it. Yeah, it looks like Frost has finally been taken out. The king of the mat V over there. Well, if you could come in and watch the southwest corner of this compound, that'd be nice. Yep, got it. That's our goal. Moving to southwest of Cup. Nope, map is now useless because of all the spectator cams. We're gonna move back in here. Yeah, Devin contacts in Delta 859, direct south. Team possibly entering right here. Ooh, Parker almost hit. And here comes the push. Flexible's down. He's got a nice little West corner there. Southwest corner. Copy west wall, southwest. Also east. Yeah, they took out my guy on the east. Alright, command's approaching southwest. Keep off between us. He's made off this wall. Wall gauge. Ooh. Basket of puppy gets, uh, Odele. Down on the east. Odele's down on the south east. east side, two times two. Motherfucker! Oh, Raggy taken out by a nade. That is not good. Yeah, this is the last round, Alaska. Ooh, Parker getting toaster. Oh, Royal is down. His rear is exposed. He's got King still in the building there. Parker taken out by a rather scottish chap. King over here in the Alco. Whoa, wait a second. King is the only one on point. King has a dirty hole. This is. Wow, that's gonna take a nade to the face. I can guarantee it. And we gotta remember we got Army Soul and Bow on the exterior. Bow has, uh, nope, Army Soul has been taken out by Savior and War Daddy. But Bow is currently penned on the road. King, you there? 
anybody. Ooh, did King just get Hashley and Slasher on the damn? Oh, dirty on the savior there. King is out, bow is left. Missing all of his shots barely on basket of puppies there. Uh, if you are in, it is a shift P. And Savior with another kill. Downing bow. And that should be GG for round two of Operation Jackal.